Good morning. Hi, again. I'm Trudy Nelson here. I'm a resource teacher for the school district of 73, Kamloops Thompson. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a really amazing salmon soup. So this soup is super simple um, and it's really nutritious and it's, it's something I learned actually from my son's uncle, Larry, up in the Chilcotin. So uh, we were at fish camp and he just threw this pot on and it just had water, potatoes, carrots and salmon in it, onions too. And I thought, well, that's pretty simple. I mean, how good could it be? Oh my goodness. After like steaming all day and after like low simmer all day, that was just devoured like late in the afternoon. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Super simple. Um, potatoes and onions are a really great base too for so many other soups um, because after you boil them, you can actually um, puree them and make it into like a cream of anything soup. So we're going to start with the potatoes. I have four, sorry, three really large potatoes. So you can use the same number of potatoes as onions. If you don't like, and it doesn't really have a really strong onion flavor at the end of it anyway, so um, it's not going to overpower. But if you don't particularly love onions, then you can use just a little bit less. So, but because my potatoes are big, I have three really large potatoes and four small onions, small to medium. So I'm just going to start by, and I've already peeled my potatoes and my onions, and I've got the carrots and I've got the salmon. So I'm just going to start um, with chunks. So I'm just going to chop it up into pretty big chunks actually, because by the time they boil, it's, it's almost like a stew, but it's still a soup, but it's just like a, it's nice to have those really nice big potatoes and, and big chunks of carrot uh, when you're eating it because it just, it just really goes well with the salmon. So we're going to chop this up to big chunks. If I was making the soup that I was telling you about, like the cream, the creamy potato leek soup or onion soup, I would be slicing these thin and um, putting them into the pot like that. So that's about the size of the potatoes chunks. And, and you want your potatoes to all be about the same size because then they will cook evenly. Every piece will have the same kind of um, texture to it when it's done. So you want them to be the same size and to cook evenly. And so I actually got that creamy leek and potato soup from uh, the mastering Mastering the Art of French Cookery, and I have made so many different soup bases. That's a soup base that I've made so many other soups out of a cream of broccoli with cheese. You could add carrots, you could have, have just herbs and just butter and cream, and it's just delicious um, base. But for this, we want the actual vegetables to be like intact when we eat it. So keep chopping, throw them in the pot, and then we're going to do the onions. And uh, when I saw the size of the chunks of the onions that he put into the soup, I thought, those are really big onion chunks. Like, who's going to eat just a giant hunk of onion? But again, like, the flavor was so good. And of course, once you cook onions with other flavors, it mellows out, so it's not going to be that harsh onion flavor but of course onions give a lot of flavor so they mellow out when they're um when they're cooked with the other with the other ingredients okay so the potatoes are done and i'll just kind of give you a an idea so that's that's basically covering the whole bottom of the pot then onions same thing. I'm just going to, if I was doing that creamy potato soup, I would again just slice all the way down in ringlets and then throw them in like that. Boil that with a tablespoon of salt for an hour. Oh, not boil, but simmer. And then puree it uh, 
after it's cooked an hour. And you can have cream and you can have butter and you can have salt, you can have bacon and cheese. It's such a delicious soup. Even like my son is a very picky eater and he loves it when I make that potato. Uh, potato, and as I said, you could use leeks or onions. Leeks are really nice. They're a type of onion. And so, yeah, so I'm just going to, oh, what did I do? I was thinking about my other soup, but that's okay. I'll, I'll keep that, the rings like that. But for the other onions, I'm going to do chunks. So if I was doing that other type of soup, I would be doing ringlets like that and putting them in. But for the rest, I'm going to keep on track with the soup that we're doing today, which is the, I'm going to call it, um, salmon cap soup because actually the other thing uh, that he used was half dried salmon so of course in the fish camp we were drying salmon and you know they can be up there for a couple of weeks or a few weeks set up camp so you don't want to and you can't bring too much food out but as long as you have those basic staples you can make amazing meals so I'm going to do chunks like that like quarter Just quarter up the onions and they will kind of come apart and that's good but it's not a big deal if they stay together and not fall apart. All flavor. Okay so those are all going in and so now we've got the you know it's about half full and then I'm just going to chunk these up again nice big chunks because it's nice to have those big chunks when you get your bowl and I need a new knife so <laughs> this uh, is like my sharpest knife right now um I kind of yeah I'm not crazy about carrots myself so I'm not going to put a whole bunch of carrots in there um my son will probably like carrots are in there and it just adds a whole other dimension of flavor um, I mean at the end too you can just add frozen corn and it's really what you want it's just sort of a what you have on hand so I'm going to cover that's simple as that cover the vegetables just to cover them a little bit more they're not quite covered and yeah so then I'm gonna just let that simmer for I mean you could let it simmer on low over the campfire basically all day just let it and keep adding water if people are eating it and then keep adding maybe some more onions and just keep it going like my tea that I used so right now I'm drinking one of the teas that I made and oh I didn't do that video with you guys but um, I made some teas last week out of rose stems uh, soapberry stems and balsam blossoms so this is how they turned out and I just put them dried in their jars after I chipped them up and uh, and then I just add them to my my kettle and I literally have had this kettle on my stove for like four or five days four days um, and it's just the plants just steeping and getting stronger into the water and I just keep adding water and it gets um, stronger and more lovely so right now what I'm drinking is balsam blossom are in here cottonwood buds and some rose stems I think I might have put a couple of soapberry stems in there too so just good for overall immune system, lung health. Yeah, and it's really good. And I don't even put sugar or honey because it takes away like from the actual flavor. But of course, if you like honey, you can do that. Okay, so yeah, it's basically covered. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt. Sounds like a lot and then some pepper and it's going to simmer i'll bring it to the boil first and then i'll let it simmer for about an hour until 
the uh, veggies are cooked. And then salt runs down and ready to go here. So I'll just chop this up for now while that starts to boil. And so I have some um, just cuts of filet here. And I, I do like salmon skin, like if I have it barbecued or if I have it baked, but not, not so much in soup. And like I said, where I learned how to do this soup, the salmon that they put in the soup is half dried because it's off the dry rack. So, or you could put fresh salmon in there, but it gives it a whole other flavor too, because it's kind of smoky, but it's not fully dry. It just gives it just a really nice flavor. But I didn't have any uh, dried salmon or swan, so I just am using my frozen. So I just peeled that skin right off. I'll probably, probably feed it to my dogs. Get some nice coat. Um, or I could fry it up. Okay, so I'm just going to do, again, like big chunks. And the reason why I'm not putting it in with the veggies, the root vegetables, right? So they're big and bulky and heavy and they take, you know, like 45 to an hour to soften. So I don't want this to fall apart and be just all over the soup. I want it to stay in chunks. So I'm going to put it in at the very end. So I might actually, maybe I'll cut that one in half. I just thought I don't want them to fall apart. You want to have a, a nice chunk of salmon in your bowl when it's all done. Keep that one like that because it's a little thin. So as I was showing you, you can just peel the skin off. I mean, you can fillet it off with a knife too, but uh, you can pull it off. Just get a grip on it and just pull it. These just come right off. This one might need a little help. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't want the chunks to be, maybe some a little bit smaller, some a little bit bigger. For the salmon lovers out there, they can get the big chunks. For, but again, this is like such a comforting soup too. Uh, when it starts to get cold up there in Chilcotin, end of August. And uh, it's just a nice, warms the soul. Okay. And last one. Um, so I'm just going to put this in the tray and put it by the soup, and I'm going to let it simmer, and then I'm going to come back to you guys in about an hour when it's all ready and it's going to smell so good in here and uh yeah so i'll just do this salmon up and then i'll see you guys in a little bit getting me excited for fishing season i hope there's salmon this year i feel like there will be because there's going to be a really uh a really high water which means it's going it's going to be cold and the salmon like cold water before they come and enter from the ocean. So I feel like it's going to be a good year. And I'm going to do one last chunk there. And that's my salmon. So I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. Okay, hi, we're back. So the potato soup or the potato carrot onions have been boiling for about an hour, um, maybe a little less, and but they're soft, they're good. So I'll just give you a little show of how they look. If I can. Okay, so I'm that's that's not my rich, beautiful color. I did add um, partway through just a little bit like a pinch of chicken bouillon and just a little shake of time, a couple shakes of time. It's what seasons you prefer like and then I always love cumin so I just added a little pinch of cumin like don't oh, like again don't go overboard with lots of different flavors because salmon 
and just such a lovely flavor, just simple on its own, I think. So you can round it with a lot of different flavors because it's just so beautiful. And the potato, it's a simple, it's a simple soup. So I'm going to put the salmon chunks in. to be good. So I'm going to bring that uh, up to the boil and I will let you guys sit for a bit and um, when we come back it'll be ready to eat. So I'll get a bowl really ready and I'll get my butter and my cream out and maybe a little bit of dill and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's done, and I'm going to show you what it looks like, and I'm going to have a bowl myself. Okay, so the salmon took about just over 10 minutes to cook all the way through, and they were big chunks, so I'm going to take these off, and I just, I'm just going to have a little bowl because I'm not eating a lot of potatoes right now, but I'm going to definitely... Take, there's a nice beautiful piece of salmon. I'm going to take a carrot. I'm going to take a potato. And all those onions just like dispersed and they're not, you can't even tell that there was that many onions in there. It's just flavorful. Okay. And some of the salmon kind of fell apart, which is nice because then you can have some little chunks in there. And I think I've had to have a little bit more salmon. One more piece. And one more that's going to add. So that, and a little bit more broth. So that is what you get at the end. And it's just lovely. So you just need a little bit of salmon, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of potato. The onion just kind of comes with it. You can add butter. So, and I just accidentally dropped a bit of dill in my butter there. So I'm just going to clean that up and then I'm going to put that onion on top of my potato. And you can even have a little bit of cream if you want to cream it up. So I'm going to put that in there. Just a little bit. A little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm Good to go. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You see? Bon appetit. I hope you guys try it. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a beautiful, easy, lovely, light meal. So give it a try and enjoy. Thanks for watching again.